Hello, my name is Sackett, and we are playing Road of the Warrior 3. And the first thing we're going to do today is cook up some of this arcane compound we made a few episodes ago. Then going to give us some arcane ash. And we're going to use it. We're going to use it to make some purified bintium dust. And we're going to use that to make some inlays. Our whirly sprig is giving us plenty of cereblossom and desert nova. So let's just go ahead and make this stuff up. We'll get a couple as quest rewards. Oh, we got a good amount. Okay. Now, we're going to be using these. A uh, very dangerous experiment, my friends. Um, we're going to be using these try to get our hands on the water guardian. Now what we need to do, we're going to need to build a little structure and it's going to take eight redstone inlays. There's three types, redstone, iron, and gold. And they all use purified vintium as their central ingredient. And as you might suspect, the redstone one uses some redstone. Now if you noticed on the page for the water guardian, it is weak to lightning, and we have learned a few things. So we've got, uh, we're going to have a projectile, right? And we also learned A of e, AOE, which I believe we put right in the same spot as projectile. So we're going to learn a projectile AOE lightning damage spell. And we're going to call it Projectile AOE Projectly Projectly Projectile AOE Lighten Lightning Clever as we are, right? Now among other things, we're going to need an obelisk. We're going to need an obelisk to generate some Ethereum because the recipe for the lightning spell is going to use some Ethereum. There's three kinds of Ethereum on the menu. And we're going to be doing, it looks like this could use any one of them. Um, so the, the easiest to do is neutral Ethereum, right? Like if we were to, uh, to look at it here, Ethereum could be neutral, dark, light, times one. And I hope we don't need all three, but uh, hopefully what that means is that we just need, we just need one of any of them. We shall see. Now I think we could find a good amount of what we're going to need to make the neutral ethereum, which is that, uh, you know, that, that bucket of stuff we've been pulling liquid essence out of, uh, out of those little meteorites. I think we can find whole lakes of this stuff in plains biomes. But we're going to need a way to transport it. Well, let's get rid of these dandelions. So we're going to take some dandelions and some water. We're going to make up some rubber. And then we're going to cook it up into cured rubber. We're going to use that to make a fluid cell. There's a couple other things we'll want. Not the least of which is a fluid cell frame. Now, the gears are easy enough and we'll just need a little mana, a little mana glass. Uh, we'll be able to make some of this stuff more easily as we progress in the pack. And we'll be able to upgrade what we're about to build as we get farther into occultism. Um, or farther in, we barely started it. Um, but here's our frame. And we're going to need a servo. And a little bit of iron. And we're also going to need some hardened glass. And I think I have, thought I had, a fire charge lying around. Yeah, I do. So we need a fire charge. We need an obsidian. What else do we need? Uh, quartz and some sand. Here we go. I think that's our first hardened glass. And there is our fluid cell. Now I think to pick this thing up and maintain the liquid, we're going to need a crescent hammer. These are pretty useful. Oh, we need one more, 
One more iron. We got plenty of iron. Alright. Let's go see what we can find. Okay, I'm not finding huge lakes of it out here, but I am finding these meteors. So let's see. How much is even here? Well, there's some. Alright. I can just bucket into these things. Or, you know, you can pipe into them if you want. Looks like there's a little bit more. Maybe, maybe these meteors actually point to where there are lakes of this stuff. Let's see, whoops. Well, let me fill this up. Now I'm hungry again. So we're gonna take a little break from what we were doing and make ourselves a couple of pie crusts here. We're just gonna eat one of them. And then let's see, apple pie. We need some apple and some sugar, huh? Let's see. Now some pies we're gonna eat, some pies we're gonna display. So we're gonna make ourselves, what else would we need? We need a little bit of glass. You got some glass in here? Nope, we got glass up here. We're gonna make a couple of the fancier tables from the cause furniture. And it just starts with the regular coffee tables and then you just kind of follow that rabbit hole all the way through. These glass topped ones are the, the last step on the line. There we go. Nice connected texture. I made some sugar from all the honey. Uh, we're gonna make two. Now there's, you can't eat these directly. Uh, you notice they don't have any nutrition stuff. Um, but you can place them and right click them. And the other thing you can do to get credit, this will be the thing to get credit for having eaten the food, is put it down on the cutting board and chop it up into slices. This, as you see, is something we can, uh, we can eat and it'll count towards our hearts. Now we're going to want the biggest bang for our buck. So we're going to make some wizard's chalk. If we look in here um, at the Ethereum, right? We see, I think, a couple different chapters. We'll want to look at the obelisk. So we can support the obelisk to boost its power with a multi-block structure. And it's going to be 5x5 five five on the bottom. And those look like just vanilla materials to me, except for the marks that we're going to make with the chalk. Now you have to have these within a certain distance of your crafting altar. And right here will be just fine. I'm just going to build us out a little platform here. Actually, I'm going to build this one down. I think it'll look a little better. All right. Now, I think what we want to do is visualize the final one here, right? And we're going to have the obelisk facing this way, right? And then we're going to have our stone bricks, like so, our chiseled right on top, and then we're going to take our white chalk and it will draw little symbols and then we'll be styling. We're going to put this right here. And let's see, what do we do? Do we bucket into it? Yeah, sure looks like it, huh? All right. Now to actually connect the obelisk to our crafting altar, we're going to need a crystal wrench, a little elementium, one of the unholy symbols, and we keep our unholy symbol. Alright, let's get projectile light out of there. Let's get projectile AOE lightning in there. And, well, it's fine. 
As always, it starts with a blank rune. Okay, Vinium Arrow Snowball. So it turns out that to do this, we're going to need Ice Affinity Essence. To get that, we will have to fight the Ice Guardian. I think we're going to fight the Water Guardian first. Okay, we're definitely in an ocean this time. Let's go ahead and put our inlay down. And our boat down. And our water bucket down. And then what? Let's see, are we doing this right? I'm not sure. Drop a water bucket and a boat at the center of the circle. Maybe we're doing it in the wrong order? Oh! There it is! Hello! So it's pretty fast. But we're also pretty fast. And we have respiration. It will have uh, decoys that it's going to make. Also, it's going to try to drown us. But it's okay. We can handle it, I'm sure. Let's eat our pie. Alright. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I don't... Oh, there it is. Yeah, water essence. Oh, yeah. We can't get out of the water. We'll have to wait for that to, uh, to wear off, which it will in a second. Now we will probably want to fight that thing some more times. This water affinity essence, first of all, is renewable, and that's really important. Um, it's also what we need to make battle mage boots, which is, you know, really not great armor, but I'm pretty sure it would greatly increase our mana pool, so we might take a look at it. That guy wasn't so bad. I mean, we have pretty good armor. We don't have the greatest armor, but we have pretty good armor. So we might try that icy boy. Um, oh, we need purified binium. I'm, I'm a little bit ahead of myself here. Let's, uh, a bunch of that. And where's all the art? Here we go. Now, before we head out to do that, I want to, uh, get what is, I think might be our first seasonal rune, the rune of winter, so that we can put the ice upgrade in one of our refrigerators and make ourselves some popsicles. Uh, each one of these will use two of the basic runes and then some other ingredients. In this case, we need... Oh! Silk touch the rest? No, silk touch to the rest. No silk touch to the rescue. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go make some more cakes. I'll tell you, the kitchen, you want to make a cake, doesn't get much easier than that. And we can also slice this up into pieces that count towards our hearts. So we'll put it up with our, our slices of pie. All right, now let's not misplace this thing this time. We'll just get right up on top of it. What are we doing wrong? What are we doing wrong? Two snow blocks, wool... Oh, water and earth, and we have fire and earth. All right, hang on. Okay, let's try all that again there. Um, I'll watch. I'll place the cake again. Um, there we go. Okay, and you know, I was looking in the book. I realized I misunderstood how the uh, how the obelisk was. We should be putting Vintium in there, apparently. Now, notice when we made the Rune of Winter, we kept our uh, our other two runes. So, yeah, that's nice. We are also going to need... What else are we going to need here? We're going to need two infused iron and a mana quartz. But if this stuff is going to do something, then uh, while we're doing it, seems like it would be a good time. Let's see what happens here. 
I, I don't know that anything is... I don't know that there's any advantage to burning this ahead of time. We shall see. Now let's put this thing together. Get our redstone torch. Let's see. I got the wrong stuff up in JI here. Okay, there's our comparator. There's our ice unit. And you just right click and now we'll have access to all kinds of recipes that use ice and snow, including, including, uh, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe we already did this. I kind of feel like we did. Now, now we got water. That doesn't want to make ice. Of course. We need sticks. And just like wooden bowls or whatever else, you just throw these in there. There's our popsicles. Delightful. Yeah, water guardian. Needed water. This guy needs a cold biome. Uh, right over here by this dwarf. That seems fine. Let's hope this isn't powdered snow. All right. Mm, okay. One snow block. All right, now all we need is our iron inlays. And those I guess we might be able to silk touch. Kind of looks like we could, huh? And then we're just going to build ourselves a snow golem. And it's going to turn, in a minute here, into the Guardian. Hello? Hello, my friend? Hello? Well, it can't go anywhere. Where are we? We are Jagged Peaks, which I feel like should count. Let's, uh, let's see what the compendium says. Go back to, uh, Ice. Ice Guardian. That's right. Super cold Ice Guardian. Shockwaves. Any frozen or snowy biome. Summon a snow golem at the center of the circle. We're in a frozen and or snowy biome. Oh, hush. Oh my gosh. Is that thing hurting that? Nah. Gollum's gonna get hurt. Alright. So I'm wondering, maybe it has to have the word frozen or snowy in the name of the biome for it to work. That could be. Alright, frozen peaks. There are all kinds of those, <laughs> Those frost stalkers around. Uh, whoa! For crying out loud. Can I silk touch it, please? Oh. Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> Alright. Now we're gonna build a snowman's. And hope it works. <laughs> We're definitely in frozen peaks. So assuming this actually works, this this should this should work. Hey buddy. Doesn't seem like it's working. Let's see, build a structure in any frozen or snowy biome. That's where we are. Oh, I shoved him out of there. I shoved him right back in. Eh, probably won't be able to do that. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, I'm not beat yet. Here we have the snowy tiger, I believe.
Snowy something. Snowy plains. That'll do. Um, wondering if the new biome names, the peak stuff, might be an issue. So let's try this. We got iron inlays. Alright. Now we got our snow blocks and our snow golem. Let's give them a second. It seemed like something else was happening for a second there, doesn't it? I swear. Like, maybe it's just wishful thinking. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on. We may need to be level 60 before we summon it, which would be unfortunate. But I guess there's really only one way to find out, huh? Now I'm staying up at night. It always rains here. Except when you want it to. <laughs> Let's see. We're going to make ourselves a boat. Like a nice boat. Okay, we're going to need two sails. Because, you know, the broom is fun and all, right? But... Use the durability. It's not that fast, and I'm probably going to be going back and forth at least a little bit. Now, the sails are fancy because these boats basically move on their own. Um, you can use them to make all kinds of things. We're going to make some chest boats. I wonder if we can make these up in the up in the woodcutter. Make just about everything else in here, huh? Let's see, yeah, sure enough, we can make them directly. Of course, they don't stack any more than they they ever do. Okay. Now this is the simple ships mod, which I like a lot. We're gonna make this brig. Here we go. One spruce brig. Now we're gonna go out and see if we can't sail our way to a frozen ocean. I think you put him down just like a regular boat. Yeah. Now we're talking. So let's find one. We got frozen ocean. All right, there's one off this away. Now it's been a minute. What was that? What's going on? <laughs> it's something underwater, isn't it? All right, well, let's look at the commands. That's not the first time I've heard all that stuff. L-M-N-O-P-Q, spelling with second. Okay, we're going to change this. I don't know, keypad 7? No. Let's try that. Okay. Here we are. Sails are unfurled. Very nice. Awesome. Awesome. It's, uh, it's got quite a bit of space, doesn't it? Not the fastest. Oh, we can furl the sails more. Now we're moving. Alright. Still kind of, whatever that was, it's still kind of on us, I think, but... Let's see. Oh, 
Alright. Not as fast as the broom, but quite a bit more relaxing. Okay. We made it. Let's see, how do I get out of here? There we go. So let's see here. There should be a frozen... Okay, we're on a frozen river. <laughs> how far to the ocean? Is that the ocean? Let's see. Okay, supposedly this is it, like right over here. Yeah, okay. Very good. Let's uh, see what we brought. I got some extra. Oh, you know what we don't have? We don't have a crafting table. Okay, it's actively snowing. <laughs> We're in a frozen spot. We got a golem. And we got a golem. That's that's just what we got. Okay, okay. I guess the next thing to do is to try to summon a different one. And if that works, well, perhaps we will have learned something. I'm not sure. Huh. Well, that's an issue. Now, we're supposed to be able to do this from anywhere, so I don't see why we shouldn't just try it from right here. Uh, let's uh, dig out a little spot. Now, I believe... Let's see. Visualize. Okay, we're... Uh, we're one too low. All right. So let's see if we understand this. We got a chiseled stone brick. It's in the wrong spot. It doesn't seem like it requires anything on the outside, does it? I wonder if that's been the problem. I'm going to feel real silly. Let's see. Could there be something in the middle there? It really doesn't look like it, does it? Alright, that's not it. Okay, I don't think it cares about the obsidian. I think we wasted our time there, but that's okay. Oh, maybe it does. Yeah, look at that. 13 to 21. So let's see. Didn't... Uh, it acts weird. Okay, but anyway, supposedly we need a topaz and a chimerite <laughs> and a... crying out loud. And an emerald? Now watch, I bet it's not going to actually do anything. This is certainly any biome, right? Let's try it in the order it's said. Emerald, Chimerite, Topaz. I don't, I don't know what makes a difference. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now we should be well enough armored for this guy. He might give us some trouble. Okay, so he definitely works. He definitely works, and there's our Earth Essence, so... I don't know what, but we must be doing something wrong with the Ice Guardian. I don't know what's going on here. Some kind of glitch. 
Alright, I think we're going to call it here. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.